Hey, home groups. I hope you're having another great week. Uh, this week, uh, we saw an exciting passage of Scripture about what it means to actually follow Jesus. What is, it, what is a follower of Jesus? Who is a follower of Jesus? A lot of times I think there are people who are self-deceived, and they think that being a Christian is just going to church sometimes. But, but being a Christian, Christianity, is not an event we attend. It's a life that we live. A life of following after Jesus. And in our passage this week, Jesus reveals to us and unpacks for us some ways that we follow Jesus or characteristics of those who follow Jesus. And number one, people who recognize that Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away their sin. There's a recognition that you need Christ to forgive you of your sin. That is fundamental to what it means to be a follower of Jesus. It is someone who is constantly, continually, daily relying on Jesus for the forgiveness of sins. It is someone who wants to be with Jesus. As you notice in the story, these guys want to be where Jesus is at. Followers of Jesus have a hunger for His presence. They want to be near Him. They want to be close to Him. Followers of Jesus are those who are invited by Jesus to join Him. He personally invites them. He personally calls them to Himself. And as we saw in this text, Jesus is inviting you. He invites freely for people to come and believe, to come and eat and drink of Him, that they may have life forever. Are you heeding that call? Are you listening to that invitation? Are you taking Him up on His offer? Number four, Jesus is the Messiah. He is the King of Israel. He is the Son of God. There's a recognition in someone who follows Jesus that He is God, that His will must be done, not mine. There's a, an eagerness and a delight in doing what He commands because doing what Jesus commands draws us ever closer to God. We delight in Him, and because we delight in Him, we delight in that which expresses Him, that reveals Him, and that's exactly what His Word does. So there's a delight in the words of God and a delight in doing the commands of God. Do you do the commands of God? It's hard to say you're a follower of Jesus if you don't do what He commands. You can't even say that you love Him if you do not do what He commands. Number five, followers of Jesus invite others to come and see Jesus. There's an eager, joyful running and telling and bringing people to Jesus. You see the disciples doing this early on. Peter, come and see Jesus. Philip, come and see Jesus. Nathaniel, you've got to come and see whom, whom the, the Scriptures have told us about. When was the last time you invited someone to come and see Jesus? When was the last time you invited someone to attend the church services where we gather together and Jesus is among us? We not be able to lay physical eyes on Jesus yet, but Jesus is among us. He's actually present among us. And when people come and they see us interacting and us loving one another, when they hear the Word of God revealing Jesus, they are going to see Jesus. They're going to have an experience with Jesus. So when was the last time you invited someone to church with you to come and see Jesus? And finally, there's a recognition that Jesus is the only way to God. He is the only one who can connect us to God. Followers of Jesus know that. They believe that and they proclaim that because they know it's true. So with those truths in mind about what it means to follow Jesus, here's some questions that I want you guys to discuss tonight. Number one, I want you guys in a home group to complete this sentence. I know I'm a Christian because... How do you complete that sentence? And how does this text change how you would complete that sentence? Number two, why do you want to be with Jesus? What is it that compels you, that draws you to Jesus? Why do you want to be near Jesus more than you've ever before? Number three, are there areas in your life that you are still not surrendering to Jesus, that you are not submitting to Jesus in? Do you have some sin that no one knows about that you are holding on to, a pattern of life, a relationship? Do you have something in your life that you are not surrendering to Jesus that you need to give up? Surrender to Jesus because He is Lord and you must obey His commands. Number four, who have you invited to come and see Jesus recently? Who will you invite to come and see Jesus this next Sunday? We must ask people to come. We must invite them to come. Are you going to do that? 
And number five, and finally, why do you not regularly invite people to come and see Jesus? What's holding you back? What's preventing you from that eager invitation that you see in Andrew and Philip's lives in this particular text? Brothers and sisters, I hope and pray that your conversation tonight will be really rewarding and really fruitful. Confess sin to one another, encourage one another, pray for one another, and challenge one another to be faithful to Jesus in this text. God bless.